And for those of y'all living in the projects, how many people live in the projects? We need those community rooms. That's where we do the lessons. All power to the people. All power to the people. And death to the pigs. Of course we couldn't go along without seeing a Spectrum truck, boys. We got a bunch of baddies going to the BLM protest. Yo, I forgot to wear my bikini today. Does anyone want to work? Get paid to hand out flyers? Anyone want to work? $20 an hour to hand out flyers? Anyone wants to work? $20 an hour to hand out flyers? Let me know. I'm asking people if they want to hand out flyers and work, and apparently everyone in New York City is on unemployment because they don't want to. All right, all those band aids and masks, all free. What is your initial thought on what's going on right now, how we can stop police brutality? I think defunding the police is a really, is a really good goal because I think trying to, we've, we've tried to reform police so many times and it really just pours more money into, into policing and it's really not helping. So by defunding police, do we mean less police officers, less weaponry, le like more incentive to, to actually work for the people? I mean, I think, yeah, those are good things to do, but I think really what I mean by defending is the, the police is taking money out of police, out of police reforming, out of police, um, out of arming police and putting it instead into communities, into communities of color, into housing, into um, social work, into into better ways to think of uh, situations that we now define as crime and um, perform them that way. Black Lives Matter! every one of you. I thank all of you for coming out today. We are here for a time and a reason and a season because we want to let all of New York City and the whole damn world know that Black Lives Matter. We are out here, advocates, elected officials, young people, everyone that gives a damn about somebody else to reaffirm the work that needs to be done. There is a declaration of war on black people in America. And we, you may feel that we have lost the battle, but let me tell you, we damn sure gonna win the war. We cannot allow our black brothers and black sisters and our trans brothers and trans sisters to be assaulted and brutalized and killed by police violence. She's literally saying like white people and then like 80% yeah, of the crowd, what is 80% of the crowd white? Yeah, but, but this is like different white people. When we were talk about why we talk about the upper, 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 super rich black people, that if, if like you're not them, you'd still be messed up. When we say that, we don't mean in general. I don't, I don't think they bust in enough people See, from the Javits Center this week. Everyone's in Minneapolis. Everybody, you're welcome. Have you a nice have an day. obligation okay. to argue yeah. the point. Right. Right. You have an obligation right. to fight right. back right. Right. when bigotry right. and white supremacy right. and privilege right. rear is on you. This is funny. When I hand out the flyers, people don't want them. When he hands out the flyers, people are actually asking him for the flyers. <laughs> So these are some new flyers I printed out. This is about the Second Amendment. Fight for your Second Amendment right. What can we do about police brutality? Basically, you know, about how the Second Amendment is the most important thing we should be talking about right now. And then this is just some more of the, you know, the radiation flyers that I showed you guys uh, the other day. You know, these are about, you know, have you been suffering from symptoms related to radiation poisoning from these devices? So we've handed out most of the Second Amendment flyers already. It's just since they have the speech and since it's so loud over here, Everyone's kind of just like zonked out. Th this girl, this Asian girl is screaming at me. I don't want to be on YouTube. Stop spreading that five grand's bullshit. Stop spreading the false information out. Budget cuts aren't enough. There needs to be some sort of like strict revamp and like some sort of like overhaul or like probe into the behaviors and, and how these police officers are being 
trained because it's definitely a reflection on the black community itself. So if you look at it, like, like there are these politicians coming out and like de Blasio saying, hey, like we're going to, con- nationwide, they're like, we're gonna continue to raise this awareness for, for uh, proper civic training amongst these police officers. Why the fuck isn't that already happening? Right. Why does that have to happen right now? Why does it take this step for that to happen? Like, that's like literally asking a doctor, hey, we're going to train you on the job. Would you have a doctor train you on a job? No, well, you Well, technically they do sometimes in residency. Yeah, you would they, have them on residency, right? <laughs> well, they they, they warn you also, about it. But they wouldn't they be in the supervision of other doctors that have gone for residencies? Yeah. Right. Exactly. So then why would I have a brand new police officer hand him a gun and then tell him to protect these people when it's a matter of life and death? See what I'm saying? That's a good point. So I think the bet that... That's literally what my recommendation is. The immediate effect of you defunding the police, specifically the NYPD, because it's a $6 billion budget, correct? And de Blasio just cut $1.1 billion, which is 16%. What the fuck does 16% do when there's still that other, what, 84%? Correct? What does that do? So that's what I'm saying. You need to have that sort of, those budget cuts. You need to have that revamp. You have to have these programs that should have been already happened. And then we can start there. But there definitely needs to be something in place because it's it's disproportionately affecting and targeting blacks. I'm not saying that it's not attacking anyone else, but why are blacks the brunt of uh, of the victims right now? You took a quick look at this crowd, you wouldn't see any black people. That's because we're in Manhattan and most of the black people are probably in in the other boroughs. The only people here are the, the rich white people and we know that because we asked people if they wanted to hand out flyers and get paid and apparently you know, $20 an hour isn't good enough for everyone that's lost their job. I'm good, thank you. Right. Shout out to Frank Tufano, man. We are out about here, about, uh, about health, wealth, and knowledge yourself. That's what we out here for. Shout out to Frank. There, there's like so many people here. I could have printed out like three, four, five thousand flyers and hired like 10 more people. Uh, I mean, we tried, but if this stuff continues for like a couple weeks or a week or two, we'll just order like a crap load of flyers for next week and we'll hand them out again and we'll try to get some more footage. I just wish they didn't have this speech and nonsense because that's all everyone's paying attention to is the speech. But I guess that's part of the control aspect. If you get people to just like listen and focus and chant, they don't like talk to each other and talk about stuff. If you guys want to donate your support for the flyers and stuff and the labor, I am spending a lot of money. I've spent over like a thousand dollars so far. So uh, if you guys want to help out, uh, paypal.me slash Frank Tufano. They kicking our ass in the rain. They shooting us in the snow. They burning us in the sun. We need something different. Say, we need something different. The police system has failed. We need something different. Police is built on white supremacy. We need something different. We need something different. Now listen, brothers and sisters, I ain't gotta tell you, cause you, most of you has grown. Fuck your curfew. We gonna be in these streets. We gonna be here all day. We're going to be here all night until we get justice. What they don't get? What they don't get? I can't breathe. Say it. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh, I'm a breathe. You best believe that it shows my skin is black and my destiny is intact. The same way Rosa Parks refused to sit on the back. Oh, I'm a breathe. I'm going to breathe even if it means it's the last time. Y'all done took too many of my ancestors' breaths, so no, you can't have mine. Oh, I'm going to breathe. I'm going to breathe harder for every gardener. I'm going to breathe in the void left by George Floyd as he screamed out for his mama. Now, I'm going to breathe. It may not be with ease, but I'm going to breathe better later. And oh, tell Corona, I'm a breathe and I don't need no ventilator. Oh, I'm a breathe. <laughs> Fuck your chokeholds and your knees. Fuck your virus and your disease. I'm a breathe. I'm a breathe life into these babies with no CPR. Inhale, then exhale. I swear to God, I'm a breathe. I'm a breathe for those that lost breath. Blacks who lack the oxygen in their lungs with the cause of death. You know the ones they suffocated in boxes on slave ships? Or our brothers that's locked in a box suffocating? Same shit. Oh, I'm a breathe. Yeah, I'm a breathe. Air to the air is gone. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to take this mask off. 
I'm gonna have to breathe even if it is airborne. I'm gonna breathe. Man, I'm gonna breathe the wind that blows the leaves. Keep fighting, although I'm so fatigued. We keep dying. I'm not supposed to breathe, but oh, I'm gonna breathe. No matter how hard they squeeze, breathe. My breath might be short and I might weave, but I'm gonna breathe. I'm gonna breathe death. I'm gonna breathe breath till death takes it from me. White supremacy hates me, but I'm gonna make them love me. Oh, I'm gonna breathe. I'm gonna leave this planet better than I found it. I'm gonna breathe breath into my people. It's no way around it. Oh, I'm gonna breathe. I'm gonna breathe because there's people that think that I shouldn't. I'm gonna keep on breathing for all my people that couldn't. Oh, I'm gonna breathe. God bless y'all. This is like this is like such controlled opposition bullshit. Like they set a curfew and they say, oh, you gotta stay inside. And then you have these literal like these people talking at the speech in the middle of Washington Square Park in front of 10,000 people saying, no, don't stay out. Fuck the curfew. Fuck that. It's, it's so stupid. It's so obvious. So one of the other protests is coming in right now. I'm guessing from Brooklyn or Queens or something. So the protest allegedly from Brooklyn is walking in. I mean, I'd have to guess there's like maybe even 10,000 people in this park. I don't know. It's crazy. There's just so many people. What do you think we can do to stop police brutality? Question authority. Yeah. You have to go to the people who are in charge. The police are just the employees. You have to go to the manager and supervisor and the district managers and say what authority gives them to kill people with tax dollars. Until you do that, this is just a convenience for the police to get extra overtime on the weekend. You're not going to change nothing until you go and question who is in charge, who gave them the authority upon the actual taxpayers who put these people in power. So would you agree that this is in large a distraction? They're blaming police officers when the people in control aren't really getting any, they don't want any attention. Yeah, I mean, it's a good it's, it's a good device because right now, if everybody's focused here, what they're doing in their offices, we, we can't check, we can't, so. We have no idea what they're doing. We, but that's the point. That's because we're so emotional. We're not logically thinking. They're, yeah, we're hurt, but we're not logically thinking, okay, this is the next step. Now we gotta go to this mayor and say, hey, how do you fix this? Who has the authority to do this? Because now what it looks like, what you're starting to question is, are we American citizens and what protections do we have from our authority that we put in power? I don't know what they're doing. Radiating people, perhaps. So it's about 5:30 right now. We're gonna wrap this up. It's been a really long day. Um, that speech has been going for like four hours straight. Uh, they've just been talking and talking and talking, spreading the nonsense. There's been a bunch of news stations around, uh, a bunch of other people filming. Just a, a really, really like high amount of people here. Except everyone seems to just be sitting around doing nothing. You know, we got we got a couple good interviews, so I'll, I'll show some of those in here and uh, maybe some of them in separate videos. So. Thank you guys for joining me today. As I said, if you want to support this, check out all the stuff down in the description below. Please like and share the video if you can. I'll see you guys soon.